WGN investigates now calls for help that go unanswered from potholes to police service. 311 is advertised as a one-stop shop to get your city problems solved. But investigative reporter Ben Bradley is wondering how long does it take? The problems for Ariel and Solomon Moreno first began when temperatures tanked, causing a pipe to pop on their property in the back of the yards. It was at fully open. So Since then, the it. faucet can't even get a drop and the toilet. <sighs> it's pretty frustrating. Have been dry. Can't even take a simple shower. We're thick skin. Uh, we've been through a lot, uh, especially as of late. Um, but we're just trying to just soldier on. Their landlord called a plumber, but he couldn't get the water flowing because the shutoff valve, or B-box as it's known, outside their home is on city property and it had collapsed. Uh, we were told by a plumber that the city needs to come out first before we can even get started and get our actual water here in our house up and running. The couple called 311 to request that repair, but days turned into weeks and the city didn't show. We need the city's help and I've been calling I probably more than a dozen times. Data obtained by WGN investigates show they're not alone. The city fielded more than 2,300 calls last year to service or locate a property's water valve. On average, it took more than a month to, in the city's words, fulfill that request. I just hope this is not happening to anybody else. But we found that's exactly what's happening. While the city responds quickly to certain requests, such as graffiti removal or a complaint about a vicious animal, other calls linger for weeks, months, even years. Yeah, good old bucket. <laughs> it takes the city on average three days to respond to a complaint about no heat, more than three weeks to repair a pothole, just under a month to clear an abandoned vehicle, all the way up to nearly a year for tree trimming and more than a year to fix buckling pavement. I wish that 311 would be a lot more efficient. In Tyra Bohannon's case, records show she and others have called 311 more than 20 times in the last three years to report issues with the property on her block. It's a lot of stress. It wears you down. It does. It's stressful. Um, it makes you want to leave. It makes you want to leave Chicago. Among the chief complaints, the vacant home's crumbling condition, which lasted for years after it appeared to have been abandoned. Open doors, broken windows, the roof had caved in, and I knew that when the snow hit that it was going to crumble onto my home, and it was dangerous. She called 311 last spring to report people loitering on the lot, but records show no one from the city responded until more than a month had passed. It's like we don't have a place to go to where we're going to get assistance for anything. We get the runaround when we call. Bohannon said the house was abandoned, neglected, and crumbling for nearly seven years. Calls to 311 occasionally yielded an inspection, but no significant action. Only after Bohannon called her alderman, Carrie Austin, and told the office she had contacted WGN, did the problem get solved. They knocked it down. It's gone. Yeah, it's gone. But it shouldn't be this hard. No, not at all, especially since, you know, it was a it was a neighborhood effort. They have a right to be frustrated because they're paying taxes for services. Alderman Ray Lopez says his ward office receives dozens of calls a week from residents who need services but can't get them through 311. A sign, he says, the system is broken. The city has a very archaic way of delivering city service. It has a two-tier a two system where if you're in a 311 queue, you have to wait in the order in which you were called. And he says that creates a bruising backlog, like the one that left the Morenos without water for weeks. It's, it's like a game. It's like a, a, a twisted game. You just keep getting, you know, oh, they'll help you, uh, or they'll, they'll help you. And, and that never happens. It never comes. After our interview, and more than a month after they first called 311, the city finally fixed the Moreno's valve, and they're now in the process of getting their full water service restored. I feel like I'm living in a third world country right now in my own house, and I should not be feeling that way. And it's, it's just, it's a thing. <laughs> A spokesperson for the 311 Center said its operators immediately route requests to the appropriate city department.
but it's up to those departments to fulfill them in a timely manner. Alderman Lopez suggests the entire system needs an overhaul to make it more efficient and effective. Ben Bradley, WGN Investigates.